busty load. As we see the return of Tasty Travis Lee at Whip. And already the people are calling him names. What the heck is with this busty? It's been more than a year since Travis been here. It's been over two years, maybe even three. Well, let's hear him speak. Travis Lee. Travis, only 10 minutes back in ACW and you're already reheating old feuds. What? Listen up, buddy. Red Lightning. I don't know who the hell you think you are, but I'm Tasty Travis Lee. I was the best thing going. I was what brought this company to the top. Me, Matt Longtime. We were the one. We were the reason people came here. And you know what? You were nothing but a flunky to me, Red. You were nothing but a flunky. If you beat me tonight... I will leave ACW forever. But you know what, Red? You're not going to earn your spot over me. Ain't no way that's ever happening. You know why? Because I'm Tasty Travis Lee! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, Red Lightning is going to have in mind. Adrian Lynch now recovered from that broken leg. We haven't seen Adrian Lynch in the ring there for a while now. Well, oh, it's good to see him back. He's feeling better. Well, a chance coming on to Adrian Lynch. I, he hasn't even done anything lately. I don't see why he deserves any, any harassment. But uh, well, these the fans are idiots. I wouldn't say that. Alright, now shut your mouth because the man's about to speak. No kidding. Fatty, 
speak here. Baron's definitely behind Horace the Psychopath. Definitely one of their favorites. Can't play with the sport Horace. I would not cut A.J. Lynch. He would go out there and he would slap each one in alphabetical order. Like I was trying to say, I'm not a betting man, but if there's one sure bet in this world, and it's going to be that on January 17th, Kevin Kruger's going to walk into Green Bay as the NWA Wisconsin heavyweight champion. What do you have to say about that? Because we must... You morons, shut up. Give him the respect I deserve. That's right. You Give him the respect. Shut up. God damn it. You know, this just shows the class of Cecil Wisconsin right here. There goes all you other morons. All right. Remember one thing, Horace Psychopath. I'm not some 130 pound Joey E. I'm a three time ECW heavyweight champion. Horace, you're in for the match of your life. And of course, then your woman will see me in her dreams. And, and, and former ACW television champion also. True, true. I'll tell you what, you know, he's talking about the class of this crowd. I, I think that this crowd is quite classy. They've been very loud and vocal tonight. And when well, these kidheads chanting three time what? Three time loser. And now for my favorite part of the evening. Well, besides leaving Cecil, that is. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be hard enough to get this menorah smell out of my car. Welcome back to ACW. You know him and you love him. He's tasty, he's oily, he's from the valley, and he's dancing his way back in the all hearts. Let me introduce to you, Tasty Travis Lee at music. Well, what an interesting uh, introduction. Look at that, the tasty one is back. It's been about a year and a half since we've seen this guy, you know? Well, it's getting out of the... Well, a year and a half is pretty accurate, actually. There is a tasty one still feeling the effects of that punch in the mouth that that Red Lightning gave him. Red Lightning, he's a goof. Well, and what is this? This is... What, what's Nick Logan doing? It? He stuffed something in Travis's trunk. So. I always knew Nicholas Logan swung that way. Well, and Lynch took it back. And you notice that Travis didn't mind either, so I kind of just thought there was anything wrong with swinging that way. Well, that's because probably no, Logan probably stole that money, and you know it was probably Lynch that's going to take it back to the right owners. Accompanied by John Johnson from Iowa City, Iowa. He weighs in at 193 pounds. One half of the young stars, Shim Dog. What? The, what? what the heck? No. Wait, wait, wait. What are you oh, doing? Idiot. Hey. He's an idiot. What? Wait, what? No, that, that's not the opponent. I, I, I would no. think not. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Well, you know, he is a Sintowski. Well, yeah. Yeah, it, it shows. It really does. Let's do this right. I give you one job to do. You can't do it. That's right, Pinhead. Okay, that's those more right. Red lightning. There, there we go. There we go. Uh, uh, you give him the business, boss. <laughs> there, there we. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Jason Jerry, having to show you, got, you gotta be on top of Nicholas these kids. I tell you how to do it. You know, uh, uh, that's definitely not the Shim Dog or Joey. No, 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 no. Well, these two have had quite a history. These two are former tag team partners. What's really interesting is that right at the time, he was kind of floundering around a bit. He was losing a lot of matches for Travis. Travis never really forgiven him for that. And why should he? You know, he costed them matches and all that. Red Lightning is a goof. I wouldn't say a goof. No, I'd say a goof. Yeah, now he looks like Opie. You know? Well, you know, another great wrestler looked like Opie. You might have heard of him. His name is Bob Backlund. Yeah, another good goof. Yeah. Um, that guy was certifiably insane. Hey, Bob Backlund is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and that is a fact. These fans are not showing their appreciation for the return of the Tasty One. Well, that's because the Tasty One was disrespecting the entire audience. What do you expect from them? Wait, he didn't disrespect nobody. Come on now. Yeah, we're in Cecil. Yes. So you, you can just disrespect it just because we're in a small town? Hey, I didn't say anything about small towns. I'm just saying he didn't disrespect anybody. I disagree. I think he did. Meanwhile, Travis Lee showing off his wrestling skills to Red Lightning. 
Red right now and shaking his head. Look at that. Very, very cocky. Travis has uh, this group red lightning. You know, what's really interesting is that during his interview before, I, everyone's heard it that Travis said that if he can't beat Red Lightning, he would leave ACW forever. Well, that's because he's confident, you know? If a guy's confident, sometimes he'll boast a little bit. That's, that's right, buddy. That's true. Try a headlock being applied. Nice counter by Red. Red right now, he's celebrating quite a bit. You know, Travis Lee is no stranger to ACW gold. That's true. You know, when he was here, he was taking with Kate, and I mean, excuse me, Matt Longtime. They were the original GQ centerfold. Managed uh, by one of the great ones, Angelo Stefano. Indeed so. Went ahead, won the tag team championship from Mike Mercury and Kamikaze Ken Anderson. I beat the Heat 2000. What a great, good, hard tackle by Travis Lee. That's the way Travis Lee does it. And interesting there. No, there's nothing really all that interesting, you know. Well, Merck kind of turned, you know, well, that, turned colors. You know. Well, the turning colors thing, but I'm saying yeah. Travis right now during this match, there's nothing really all that interesting about him. You know, Travis is just showing us what he's got. Indeed, so Tra well, I've always said Travis Lee is a tremendous wrestler. Apparently, uh, California's been very good for the tasty one. Yeah, this guy's in better shape than I've seen him in ever before. Well, indeed, so obviously he's doing some stunt work out in Hollywood. He's looking incredible right now. But then again, you know what? Red Lightning, another guy who looks a lot better than the last time we saw him here in ACW. That's true. Are you watching the same, the same match as I am, Marty? Uh, I'm talking about the physique. I ain't talking so much about this goof's moves. I'm, ta I'm talking about overall physique. Well, right now, Red's going right to work on Travis Lee. Good series of moves. And now Travis Lee is... Oh, he's on defensive. He has to take a break. That's a smart move, going outside, taking a breath. You know, that's an awesome move. You know, before uh, Travis, he left for Hollywood. You know, he, he, he started to have a huge aggressive streak. That was definitely taking him a long way. He ended up in the semifinals for the Midwest Heavyweight Championship Tournament that we had at Last Dance. Very true, very true. Losing to Electric Eric Freedom in the semifinals. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? He's Good such a great. goof. He tripped on the bottom ring rope. That, was that, that wasn't even the bottom ring rope. That, that was the ring apron itself. And oh, guys, uh, perhaps you uh, missed uh, Mr. Lynch and Mr. Kruger holding on to his leg. What do you mean? Lynch is standing and, right in front of me right and now. And what the heck is Kruger doing now? He's helping the, 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 this goof back in the ring. Oh, helping my, my foot. Hey, they don't have street signs around here. He's got to do something to help this guy get back in the ring, you know? That's right. Beating him is going to help him get back in the ring. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sure what you're watching. Look at that. God's gift gently rolls him in. Exactly. After he delivers a beating. The cover by Travis Lee. Oh, God. Give Red a lot of credit. Just kicks out after a two. Who's this referee? Did he hit the donut stand one too many times? My God. I'll tell you what. Nicholas been Logan count. has been uh, right on top of things all night long. He has been just tremendous. Yeah, for a guy we've seen for the first time here in ACW NWA. That's true. Scoop slam by Travis Lee now. Follows up with a leg drop. And Travis... Look at that goof red lightning. He looks like he's sucking air right now. Well, he probably is after those series of high-impact moves. And quit your telephone business on here. We don't want to hear it, Weasel. That, look at that. That's awful nice. Travis sees that he's getting kind of blown up, and he's kind of helping him relax him a little bit so he can catch his breath. That's right. Relax the muscles a little bit, you know? Help the guy along. That's a choke. He's going to relax him all right. He's going to relax him into a coma or into the grave. That's a cheating technique. Meanwhile, Lynch and Kruger decide to assert themselves. I don't know who invited them here tonight for this matchup. Eric choking a vibe. Oh, good grief. He riding the pony. He riding the pony. He's riding something. I don't want to know what. Oh, he now just snaps Red Lightning off the, off the rope. You know, Travis Lee still holding that jaw. That was a tremendous shot that Red gave him earlier on tonight. You know, Travis doesn't need to concern about these pinions. He needs to go for the pin. I would agree with that. You know, it has been shown that Travis Lee, you can get under his skin. 
crowd has been been the third man many a time. Oh, great. Yeah, close fist. Yeah, press. Come yeah close fist. Come on now. And a series of close fists, as you said, by Red Lightning. Great counter. His Kruger even caught it. Using the Luthes press to his advantage. Well, you know what it is, Marty? I don't know if you've seen uh, Nicholas Loken by the food stand before, but maybe, you know, Maybe that food's uh, slowing him down or something. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe he got a broad or something. Grease spurred him in the eye or something. I don't know. Meanwhile, Travis Lee delivers a DDT. And Red Lightning, he's just kind of like heap in the middle of the floor. Travis now looks like he's going for a vertical suplex. Gets him over. Nicely done. That's right. You tell him, Travis. That's right. Tell him who you are. Good green low jaw jack. Because God knows he can't read it across the back of your tights. Well, he's a good Meanwhile, what is, close fist? what is that referee doing just standing there? It looks like Red saying hell no to Tasty Travis Lee. Reversal now. Ooh, huge clothesline by Lee. And Red Lightning's a hurting unit. Another cover. Just a two count. Come on, Travis, put this deep away. I'll tell you what, that's... That was a huge clothesline. Did, did you see that, Marty? This goof is getting his butt beat. He still has that stupid smile on his face. Yeah, but he's always had that stupid smile on his face since day one. First thrust kick over by Red, giving him a bit of a breather. Red now going for the cover. Just a two count. You know, Travis is very lucky in that. It looked like a fast two count, too. I would have to disagree that Nicholas Logan has been very consistent tonight. Great jawbreaker by well, Travis Lee. Have fun going to the orthodontist. And, 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 and Travis Lee is saying that's it. Doing the old throat slash. You think that move is actually possible to mess up his grill any worse? Uh, probably not. <laughs> and right now he has him up. It looked like Red Lightning was able to counter. That almost looks like an Eric Hammer style DDT right there. The cover. Just a two count. You see, that was a fast. Two and nine. That was a ten. very fast. Very fast. Count. I don't know what the. Where I don't know why you're getting. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not in charge of booking reference. Yeah, who is in charge of that? Not me. Nice reverse elbow by Red Lightning. Did that, that elbow look right to the throat, Casey Travis? And Travis Lee is begging off Red just there. Huge clothesline, flying clothesline. And Red, he's starting to feel it a little bit. He's going to be feeling it soon when Travis makes a comeback on his ass. Spinning heel kick by Red Lightning. Red getting some accolades from the crowd, goes for the cover. See, it shows you what kind of goof Red Lightning is. He could have went for the three count, maybe got it, maybe. But instead, he had to go look at the crowd and get the crowd's uh, approval. What a goof. Two and nine tenths again on the near fall. Samoan drop. And Red Lightning. Could be it. The cover, two. Just a two count. Not enough to put him away. You're not, not going to pin the taste you with a sloppy pin like that, though. I was rather nonchalant, I will admit that. Casey Travis, the acai moonsault, the cover. Now that could be it. Two, just a two count, great counter by Casey Travis Lee. Travis Lee now, still all over, Red Lightning, reversal. Oh, and Lee gra grabs him right in the air. He has him up. Oh, oh ter uh, turns it into a driver, the cover. Just a two count. How did hey. he kick out of that? I got to give the goof credit. He kicked out of it. I, I, I took that move from uh, Busty Lowe's, and it is a wicked, wicked ending move. Now, wait a minute. Travis Lee, he's starting to become all psychotic right now. The look at his eyes is quite scary. Oh, he has the... Trying to put on the, the sleeper. That was his that was his favorite hold back during his more aggressive era just before he left. And Travis Lee trying to do it again. Red able to counter. No, Red's going for the move. And Red has a sleeper on. And Travis. Look, look at that chokehold. Come on, ref, he's choking him out. And right now they're, they're in the corner for a second. And oh, this will be a travesty. Oh, that's one, two more times and Red Lightning gets gets the victory. 
Oh, Marty McClure, you watching this? He's yeah, I can't. A choke hey, there we go. There oh, we go. Travis Lee able to hang on to the ropes. No. And yeah, that's right, you goof. You think you won, but his hand is on the rope. And Red Lightning, yeah, he does think he won. Trying to convince him, he's, he's going, what the heck are you talking about? Meanwhile, Travis Lee is getting a breather in the corner. That <laughs> Travis played possum. Able to get all the way and try. Oh, we've seen this before from Travis Lee. I believe this is what? Shattered dreams, so to speak, among other things. He has them all set up. And what's, what's hey, that come on doing? now. Because that would have been an illegal low blow. Give credit to Nicholas Loken for stopping Travis Lee when he did. Oh, he shoves the ref. Oh. Tremendous move by Red Lightning. The cover to... Oh, no, it can't oh. end like that. Come on now. What a travesty. This is... I don't know where ACW found this incompetent referee, but it's... It is a travesty. You know what? And there's the end of a page in ACW history. Travis Lee got screwed on this deal, and now that's it for him in ACW and WWE. That referee should be banned from ACW. Well, Red, you know, before he left, was showing an aggressive streak. He was showing it again, again tonight, and it paid off dividends for him. Absolutely ridiculous. One of the rare wins for Red Lightning here in ACW NWA. Adrian Lynch and Kevin Kruger checking on the tasty one. I don't know how happy those two gentlemen are. Kind of shaking their heads. They're looking at each other. I think this is bad news for Travis Lee. Oh wait, they're helping him up. Okay, maybe I was wrong. These are nice guys. Wiping their hands with Travis Lee. Well, Travis is a little oily. Well, I won't disagree with that, but they're helping Travis up again. Travis too weak to stay up before. And he drops on again. Oh, Kevin and Lynch. It, they're kind of wondering what the heck to do it. Well, he's in a heck with Travis Lee. Well. Travis Lee's comeback doesn't last too long, now does it? It's, it's all because that referee Nicholas Loken. I disagree with that. I think it's a tremendous that showing right, by... Right there, that's a tasty it's Travis. Red. It is. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, that, that stupid referee Nicholas Loken putting his hand on the tasty one and, and, and causing a distraction for Red Lightning to get whatever energy he has left and, and do that missile drop kick, this is all in Nicholas Loken. Well, I would have to say Red Lightning made a great showing, nevertheless, and we'll be right back. Since we've been putting the grimace...